But Dan Mawed, and welcome to the sheds. We are back again shedding the lights on everything that matters. Is there a possibility to see, uh, as you're unveiling those, those names, to see your former president such as Jacob Zuma emerging in act? Me, I believe uh, in leaders who emerge out of struggle. I don't, I don't believe in uh, uh, people who are made by the media. The ANC is still trying to grapple um, with power. It is still trying, you know, to cling on to power. And most probably that's why we're also even finding it very difficult for not just only the ANC, but also other political parties coming into the fore when it came to the review of the electoral bill. We are talking about an 80.9 billion budget of the city of Johannesburg. Basically to run the city, there's about 80 billion, 900 million that is involved. Somebody will ask, what does it mean to preside over a budget this big? I haven't had time to sit back and say, hey man, well done. Uh, my focus really has been in ensuring that we are moving forward, we are sustaining. Yeah. So maybe in December, uh, sitting down with a glass of whiskey, I can say no. Yeah. Uh, at it least, means, yeah. you know. I want to ask this, Doctor, because I think currently, as you've seen, uh, in, 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 our, in our country, especially yeah. in the space of social media, mm -hmm. you see people coming out having a meltdown uh, yeah. of, 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 of mental illness. Mm -hmm. Do you think people, because they don't know how to deal with it, some they just cause outbursts in those spaces. Do you think maybe the problem is that we're not having much discussion about it, that people they don't know where to go yeah. when they start to, 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 to experience it? The most important thing is that the people, they need to vote in line with the kind of future they want to live in. They can't be voting because of the past or not wanting to, to participate in voting at all. Mm. So what we're saying is the ATM, critically, we need to invest in the future. Mm. And the future lies in educating our young people. Mm. From the look of things and the researches that have been done, it looks like we won't, we won't get an outright majority. The thing was always there, the, the, the phrase was there, but we needed to take it, clothe it, because we, I viewed it as a, a civic activism with purpose that needed meat. Actually, the breaking point was seeing the people that I looked up to, Baba, subjected into such things and they had to succumb to it. Ababa, uh, Amazamazamas, is the, is, is the, what meek, or I don't want to say meek, I wonder mm -hmm. who, who, who are hard workers. Mm -hmm. South Africa today mm -hmm. spends 143 million rent every day paying these so called independent power producers of renewable energy who deliver zero because 100% of their power is redundant, meaning it is not usable in the grid. I've got three clean audits, I've finalized more than 60,000 complaints and uh, um, you know, issued 412 reports. And by last year, it was only, uh, what, 14 or 17, which were set aside. And it's not even a percentage. I think 30 years or so now down the line, the time to review the constitution has come. Otani well, and welcome to the sheds. Today we are shedding light on the youngest president and the most problematic president in parliament, servant Violo Tuzungula. Under the ATM government, mm. there is no criminal that will be bold enough mm. to, you know, to even take a video mm. of them, um, mm. you know, showing Imali that they. What are going to do to criminals? Uh, a criminal mm. number one. Mm. If you repeatedly kill people, your time is up. Up. Mm. You must also be killed. Mm. That is number one. Death penalty. Death penalty. Mm. Because yeah. we can't be babying who to a criminal who mm. the government treats you like yes. a retard. Mm. Yeah, about law-abiding people, they are treated like they are non-entities. But a criminal, a person that wrongs society, kills mm. and rapes people, mm. is treated like a sweetheart. That mm. will change. He spoke about economy. He spoke about uh, education. He spoke about youth development. Mm. But all the wonderful ideas we've outlined can never be implemented if you are not the president, if the ATM is not governing. How is the ATM preparing for next year? And is the ATM winning the elections next year mm. in order to implement these ideas? Mm. 
definitely the ATM is winning elections next mm. year. On the 2nd of December, we are going to be in East London, mm. uh, whereby we are going to be launching our manifesto. Cool. Um, the entire Buffalo City mm. will be on a standstill because mm. this is where we are going to be saying to the people of our country, mm. this is what the ATM will be doing. And then from there, we'll be going out to each and every community, talking to people, saying, Ebanduini, their time to actually reclaim their power is now because Amanda belonged to the people. Otani and welcome to the sheds. Today we are shedding light on the youngest president and the most problematic president in parliament, servant Violo to Zungula. Welcome to the sheds, president. Thank you, thank you. Thank welcome, you. Mr. Zungula. Thank you. You have recently hosted a policy conference in August and you are preparing for your manifesto launch in December. How has hosting or sitting or putting together a policy conference been and what does it mean? You know, it was so liberating and fresh because mm. when you are in a gathering with different people mm. from coming from all nine provinces mm. and what they are talking about is yeah. basically the solutions to the problems that we're facing in the country. It was something that was refreshing because it was, it is a gathering, it was a festival of ideas, a gathering whereby it is all about what should be done to correct all of the wrongs in the country. Okay. Instead of these personality politics we see in mm. our country whereby um, if a certain individual says this or mm. certain individuals goes drinking, but mm. The discussion is not about the people, it's not about the problem. So that is why it was so refreshing to be part of that gathering. Mm. Yeah. So just a follow-up, uh, mm. a police conference that you just had recently, what, what would you say, for someone who's listening there, to say what would make ATM separate from any other political? What solutions are you bringing to the table? To say these are practical solutions. No, there's, there's so much solutions, um, you know, um, clustered in terms of um, security cluster, the economic cluster. Um, but if I can talk about the economic cluster, mm. whereby the crisis now is poverty and unemployment and inequality. Mm. So our solutions to that are there to address these three main problems in terms of the economy. Mm. That number one, people are not active um, economically. There's high levels of um, inequality. Mm -hmm. And there's this problem of um, um, the, the problem that we know whereby um, the, the amount of poverty yes. has reached um, very, very high levels. Mm -hmm. Especially so, among young people. Especially yes. amongst young people. Mm. So our solution there is to open up the economy because the manner in which the economy is structured mm. has always been that there's very few players in terms of mm. the business that are there in the economy. Mm. Um, if you look at all industries. Look at, for example, the telecommunications industry. Yep. We are going to see OMTN, or Vodacom, or Celsin, or Telcom. Those are the four or five main companies that are dominating almost more than 90% of the market. Mm -hmm. Go to the financial services. Again, it is four or five. Yep. Go to the banking sector. It is always four or five. Mm -hmm. So basically, the structure of the economy, all industries are dominated by four or five um, um, big companies that are dominating more than 90%. Therefore, our view as an ATM is that we need to transform the economy mm. to have more players so that you don't have people that are just, uh, you know, um, consuming in the economy. And the way to do that, number one, yeah. you've got a government that has more than two, two trillion in terms of the budget per year. Okay. But more than 80% of the government spending goes to big business. You'll see, for example, the one company called Bidvest, it is everywhere. Go yeah. to the airport, it's doing everything. Mm -hmm. to the I, saw cleaning, a, it's there, yeah, yes. I saw a tender in Lipopo whereby they were even competing for a tender mm -hmm. with a million. And you ask yourself, how can a government allow um, you know, one company to monopolize the government contracts instead of allowing or creating space for small businesses. So our view as the ATM is that the government spending must go to small businesses instead of being um, dominated by big companies. Mm. And then we want to transform the township economy because now the townships are the face of poverty. They are the face of teenage pregnancies, yeah. they are the face of alcohol abuse, they are mm. the face of underdevelopment. If you go to
two townships, you are most likely to see a tavern, a mm. bar, a small call, than a library, a skills yeah. development center, or any business, by the way, that is run by a local from that particular township. So what we're saying is the ATM, the township has got something that we call a retail economy. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, you look at um, the, the ocean economy. Mm -hmm. Not all places will have the ocean economy yeah. in our country. Mm. But if you go to townships, number one, people are buying something. Mm. Whether it is sunlight mm. or it is, um, you know, toothpaste, it mm. is bread. Mm. In, there's basic goods that they are buying on a daily basis. Now, we need to answer a question, A.T., who is producing all of these things that are consumed um, in the townships by our people? Mm -hmm. So our view as the ATM is that whatever that is consumed by our people must be produced by our people so that Abantu Bay to are able to, um, you know, to... Mm. To, to, to benefit. To benefit. So, so in, in essence, people who stay in the townships should be able to benefit, should be able to be the one that are producing at the same time. Mm. The same stuff that they buy. Yeah, look, for example, look at, um, I'll make an mm. example about my own township, Hector, M. Sobom. Okay. There is Isgol is to two, three schools there. Mm. And I could say maybe on uh, on average, there's 500 students per school, which is 1.5 schools, um, 1.5 students yeah. um, in my township. Now, these students, number one, are wearing uniform. Mm. Um, either shirts or jerseys or uh, socks, trousers, or trousers yeah. etc. Now, our view as the ATM is that this uniform that they are buying on a yearly basis or on a monthly basis, they should not be bought from um, Omise Price and all of these companies. The big uh, retail the big retail yeah. um, retailers. Mm. How about Kubeko na e, um, e cooperatives mm. that are operated by the people from Imsobovu? That way, Abant Basem Sobom will get to benefit from the economy. Because there's one thing that we need to realize in terms of the structure of, of our economy. Mm. It, when the money comes in, yeah. um, um, the economy, um, the township economy, winning to Abandabam Nyama, it leaves almost immediate yeah. because there's nothing that we are producing is Abandabam Nyama. So we're seeing as the ATM, their skills mm. go to M Sobom. There are people that are able yeah. um, you know, to produce and um, the uniform. But why is the government not intervening to say a uniform of Abantu, of his goals, as so here are the preferred suppliers. Go to, um, for example, I'm sure your kids, yeah. or uh, Abantu and Baganyani, so if mm. they go to Kuro, mm. Kuro will tell you where to buy uniform. Mm. Meaning, these so people, they direct you, you know, they, they create an economic ecosystem whereby money circulates amongst them. But go to our communities, the government is not bold and patriotic enough to say, let us create again an ecosystem mm. as a benefit of the people there. So yeah. that is what we are saying as the ATM, but top priority for us mm. is for people to be economically active, mm. not this case whereby Abantu are just consuming. And our idea of economic um, participation mm. is that if this model mm. gets to work, you won't have one company, which is Mr. Price, yep. that is going to dominate from Lipopo to Western Cape. But you are going to have a band to pass a pushback ridge, being able to, um, you know, produce the things that they are consuming a pushback ridge. You are going to have a band to back Kokwana Kutsolo, mm. equally doing the same thing. Again, a band to control, mm. doing the same thing, yeah. instead of one company having a monopoly over one industry. So the money stays in. Mm. It's touched nicely on economy yeah. and explained where the problems and potential solutions yes. are. What is another policy that the ATM thinks could solve the problems of this country? Yeah, you know, um, our education system, mm -hmm. it is so devastating in the sense that it is creating a band of that are job seekers. Mm. It is not creating skilled people mm. that um, are able to utilize their own skills in order for them to make a living. Mm. So our view as the ATM is that there needs to be a complete transformation of the education system, yeah. mm. starting from the early child development, so that when Abandwana um, are in the um, um, in the um, phase where by mm, the foundation phase, uh, foundation yeah. phase. Yeah. they are able to read mm. and read for understanding. Not have a case whereby abandon they just reciting, but mm. there's no understanding yeah. of what they are actually doing. So that is one part which is important, which is we need to get the foundation phase right so that they are able 
uh, because foundation mm. is the one that builds towards um, the higher education, towards the higher levels of the education system. Mm. Now, at the higher levels, we have the view as the ATM, Ukuba, it needs to be skills-based. Mm. Now, what are the skills? Mm. It is skills, number one, that are responding to the needs of the economy. Mm. The economy now in 2023 mm. has got different needs to what mm. the economy had in 2020. Mm. So education system now must be able to say what is required by the economy. Mm. For example, yeah. there's been an increase in terms of the digital economy because mm. Or, for example, what um, the lockdown situation, mm. um, it made companies to operate remotely, etc. Mm. Mm. Why the government does not ensure Goba this? And there's much investment in terms of the digital mm. education yabandwana, so that Bakwazi mm. to be able to benefit from that part of the economy, mm. not have what we have now. Yeah. And for example, EDSTV, mm. some of the developers at DSTV, they're based in India. Mm. And there's some um, other um, company, mm. financial services company, their developers, they, the IT specialists, they're based in India. They are doing work remotely in India. Mm. In other words, we are losing jobs mm. because apparently there's, a, there's not enough skills. Mm -hmm. And again, the education system must speak to the mineral wealth that we have in the sense that the reason why you find Dukoba we do not export finished products. Mm. It's because we are told to go back. We need, um, you know, we do not have the capacity. Mm. We have to always take these raw material. materials, yeah. CZC, to um, all of these other European countries or mm. America, zero process or partner, mm. they come to us as finished product. Mm. Whereas in our view, children in our country, they need to know, Ukoba, here's a diamond. Mm. And they need to um, know, here's gold. Mm. Here's all of the, pro, um, the, the minerals that we have. Yeah. And then education system here too, must be able to say, mm. this is how we make these minerals to be of value through processing. Mm. That way you don't have a case whereby education system here too, is not founded mm. or is not based on the mineral on the well. East. Because if you go to other countries, mm. look at, for example, in Middle East, is blessed with oil. Mm. Now mm. you find that they are processing whatever that they need to process with mm. the oil there in mm. Middle East. Mm. And if a person comes from another country, maybe to assist with a certain skill, they're mm. given a, a fixed term contract to say, um, do this work, but in this period, transfer the skills to a local. Mm. But come to our country, you find Ukuba, there is no appetite to make sure Ukuba were able to process our own minerals here. Mm. And if we need external skills, the people that are coming with external skills are able to train our locals so that in the future, Sikwa mm. Zuzenzela Zonki Zindo Ngokwe to Apa in our country. Well, lastly, mm. before, before mm. you come mm. in, you know the reason why Russia mm. was able to withstand all of these sanctions um, it was because yes, it is self-sufficient. Yes, mm. Unlike our country, where yeah. prices of Taiba, no, we need this country mm. for this product. We mm. need this one mm. for this mm. one. Mm. We need to have leadership, Eti. We want South Africa to be self-sufficient and only import what we cannot, um, we, ca we cannot produce, produce on our yeah. own. So yeah. that is the type of education that we want so mm. that East South Africa is not just a taker. It is a price taker in terms of price, uh, in terms of commodities. Mm. It is a taker in terms mm. of solutions, even to um, disasters like we had, like COVID. Mm. Yeah. We need to be a country whereby we develop our own vaccines. Mm. Yeah. We develop our own solutions instead mm. of being a country um, that is going to rely on other people or other countries for um, for e solutions. Mm. One funny issue about education, President, just mm. the last aspect of education is how it, what it costs to take your child to school. And that many people don't afford even primary schooling if you want quality education. Yeah. High school is even worse. Tertiary is not even imagined. What does the ATM say about the cost of education? How are you going to solve with all the ideas you have for you to access those you need money? Look, the money is there in our country. Mm. This notion, but we don't have money. Mm. Um, I don't believe that notion. Mm. You see... The money is there. The problem is that the priority of the people that are in power, mm -hmm. they do not have the priority of taking the money or the resources that are there mm -hmm. to be of benefit to the people. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, for example, mm -hmm. how much does the Auditor General say it is wasteful, irregular expenditure on a mm -hmm. yearly basis? Yes. You find that it is over 50 billion almost each and every year. Mm -hmm. Go to the infrastructure 
in terms of our public schools, mm. you find that the infrastructure, just as an infrastructure, put aside the 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 the, 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 the system or mm. the curriculum, mm. Mm. but look at the infrastructure. Mm. Because when a child when a child is entering a schooling mm. system, mm. or a school, mm. the school itself must give. Um, hope you know, must give hope. It must mm, entice. Yeah. It must create that environment. To go back. This is an environment of learning. Mm. Now you go to these private schools. Mm -hmm. You find that in these private schools, the environment, the infrastructure, mm. is well taken care of to achieve that. Mm. But come to our schools in the uh, in the public schools, you find that the infrastructure it is so um, dilapidated to an extent whereby abandoned. They are sharing. One desk, we have three children, mm, whereas mm, yeah. in, in the private school, oh. one desk, there's only one child. Mm. So that is why, in our view, the money is there. Mm. However, there needs to be proper investment in, in, in terms of the in, um, infrastructure and being very, very harsh on abandon that are corrupt because mm. it can't be that also Nikas Umali to build a school. Yeah. After the money has been given, no school is um, mm. and is actually built mm. or maybe they are using weak materials that mm. end up in Moshakala mm. in a few weeks. There's a lot of young people that are disillusioned about uh, the promises that have been made. What is the solution from, from uh, ATM? You know, um, like we stated the, on the question of education, yes. because young people um, want capacity, mm. want an education system that will empower them, mm. that will upskill them, capacitate them so that they are able to do whatever they want to do with their lives. Hence, our focus is on the education system mm. on one side, but critically on the economic sector as well, because mm. Young people have got companies, mm. but you find that their companies do not have access to the market. Mm. Um, and, you know, you can have the best company, the best um, business model, yeah. but if there's no market for whatever you are producing, whatever service that you have, then a company is not going to go anywhere. That is why our argument of saying Kuba, more than 80% of government spending must go on SMMEs. Yeah. It means the young people that are running businesses will have money or will have their businesses to grow mm. because the government is mm. the basic or is the foundation yeah. of their market. Mm. And also when it comes to youth development, our view is that we need to invest in arts and culture, mm. arts and sports, arts and culture, because mm. not everyone wants to go to school. Not everyone has got the capabilities or the talents to be, um, you know, to be a doctor. Other people, they are born to be the future mm. cricket stars, soccer stars, netball stars, etc. Mm. So we need to invest. Now, if you look at the um, township or rural schools, you find that we're no longer playing sports there. Yeah. And there's no interest in terms of those sports and um, programs that we used to have back in the day. Mm. Um, I remember when I was playing um, sports in high school, mm. we even went as far as playing at a national level. It's a pity, Kekuba. <laughs> Yeah. Were you playing president? I was, I was the top striker. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I was a top so striker. So if, if Keza Chiefs is looking for a striker, here's a striker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so mm. we need to invest mm. in terms of the sports, arts, and culture. Cool. So mm. that the people that have got those type of capabilities mm. are able to utilize those capabilities. Mm. Again, there's creative industry, the creative sector now, mm. yeah. whereby people, mm. um, you know, you know, people can have one can take one yes. video. Mm. Yeah. It goes viral. They make money out of that. Mm. There's even this guy. I think he he was um, mm. he's from Senegal, but mm. he's based in in Italy. Mm. He became um, um, mm. a, in, um, a TikTok sensation yeah, yeah. Um, during that time of COVID. Yes. And he made mm. so much money. Mm. So as the ATM was saying, Koba. That is the type of the world that we mm. live in now, whereby yeah. the creative sector is should also important. Yeah. So it should, we should be having proper investment in it. Cool. President, we are pressed for time. You spoke about economy, you spoke about uh, education, you spoke about youth development. Mm. But all the wonderful ideas you've outlined can never be implemented if you are not the president. If the ATM is not governing, how is the ATM preparing for next year? And is the ATM winning the elections next year mm. in order to implement these ideas? Definitely the ATM is winning elections next mm. year. Mm. 
Now, there's one other um, part I want to touch on, the mm -hmm. part of law and order, because yes. all of these things, yeah. they require a country that is stable, a yeah. country that is law and order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We believe as an ATM that, number one, mm -hmm. the time to basikutengwa with criminals mm -hmm. must, must pass mm -hmm. under the ATM government. Mm -hmm. There is no criminal that will be bold enough mm -hmm. to, you know, to even take a video mm -hmm. of them, um, mm -hmm. you know, showing Imali that they... What are going to do to criminals? Uh, a criminal, number one, mm -hmm. if you repeatedly kill people, People, your time is up, up mm. you must also be killed. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Death penalty. Death penalty. Mm. Because yeah. we can't be babying mm. a criminal, mm. is, the government treats you like yes. a retard. Mm. Yeah, about law abiding people, they are treated like they are non entities, but mm. a criminal, a person that wrongs society, kills mm. and rapes people, mm. is treated like a sweetheart. That mm. will change. Secondly, if you are a criminal, mm. if you go to um, prison, you are mm. not going there and just enjoy the hard work of your victims. Because mm. currently, mm. if your children are killed by someone mm. or your wife gets yeah. to be raped by someone, mm. it is your taxes that are funding education, mm. funding their three meals a day, mm. they are funding them having mm. mm. everything mm. by your pain. Mm. You know, So that is why we are saying Koba. Criminals will work for the state for free. We've mm. got a lot of dirty towns. Mm. We've got a lot of things that wow. need to be done in mm. our country. Mm. So this is not slavery. It is a matter of, Ukuba, number one, you are having all of these benefits and privileges as a criminal. Mm. Une DSTV. Mm. Umtu that is out there being law-abiding citizen does not have a DSTV. Mm. Mm. You have access to hot water. Yeah. A person that is law-abiding does not have access mm. to water. Mm. So in order for you to go to a loan, to, to, to end your keep, mm -hmm. you need to pay back society by working for the state for free. Mm -hmm. That is what we are saying as the ATM. And also, we've got a problem of Lama Polisa mm -hmm. um, that are corrupt, Lama Polisa that are taking bribes, working mm -hmm. with drug dealers. Mm -hmm. Such people deserve a life sentence, and the life should not be 25 years. Yeah. But if you are in a position of um, a position of authority mm. and you abuse your authority or yes. you abuse your power mm. um, or and you betray the trust of the people, meaning if you are a policeman, immigration officer, mm. um, you are a politician, you are a minister, mm. a mayor, once you do or you are involved oh, yeah. in corrupt activities, mm. or you need a uh, president, mm. you know, you need to be dealt with harshly. You know, in Singapore, how we dealt with e corruption in the country is that it went after the people that are in, in positions of authority. Unlike in this country, by there's so much that is written about corruption. But ask yourself, where are the sentences? Where are the prosecutions of Abanto? So that is why, in our view, you can't have a functional country, you can't have a prosperous country mm. if you don't deal with the question of law and order. Cool. What's next for the ATM? What are you doing to get to people so that they can vote for you? Um, on the 2nd of December, we are going to be in East London, mm -hmm. um, whereby we are going to be launching our manifesto. Cool. Um, the entire Buffalo City mm -hmm. will be on a standstill because mm -hmm. this is where we are going to be saying to the people of our country, mm -hmm. this is what the ATM will be doing. And then from there, we'll be going out to each and every community, talking to people, saying, Ebanduini, their time to actually reclaim their power is now because mm. Amanda belong to the people. You know, politicians serve the people, not the other way around. People mm. cannot be misled to think but they are powerless. People must realize Zukuba, they are the ones have a responsibility of shaping the direction of our country. Mm. Therefore, people must go out and vote. Mm. You know, this notion Uba people uh, voting does not help. Yeah. It only and um, it's only spread amongst the black communities. Mm. Go to white communities. Mm. Uzobona queues, people, white people, even grannies, are going mm. to be carrying ICAM chairs because they know the power in voting. President, the churches have recently been under attack. They are targeted by criminals. Yeah. What does the ATM say about the role of government and churches, the faith community as a whole? Mm. You know, the, the faith community adds so much value to the country. You'll recall in when there was the unrest in KZN, mm. the government actually said to churches, um, go and operate, in other words, go and have uh, meetings with your church people, educate people or, um, you know, encourage people to be law-abiding. Mm. Now, once that was done, you know, people thought, Okoba, no man, the government is actually taking advantage of churches because mm. they see the church plays a critical role in terms of mm. shaping the characters, characters yeah. whereby 
the government at the same time needs to govern the mm. very same people because mm. if a band banas milo, if a band do, do not um, about to make, mm. then the government can never govern because mm. how do you govern hooligans? Mm. Now the government or the churches play a critical role mm. in terms of shaping the morality and the character of the citizens yeah. so that the government is able to govern. Mm. Now with the government in the recent years saying no the churches must be taxed mm. whereas NGOs are not taxed. Mm. It appeared as if we've got an anti-church government, mm. a government that is not um, valuing the contributions that are brought about by the churches. So mm. in our view, the churches play a critical role in terms of shaping the character. You know, one of the problems that we have is that mm. we do not have an identity as a country. Mm. There is no, um, there's, you know, there's moral degeneration in our country. And that shows, Ukoba, mm. the churches are not given their ample space mm. to be able to build a character. Back in the day, churches mm. had Bible studies, mm. um, you know, in, in the schools, mm. so that Abandwana grow being able to have good moral values. Mm. But the government removed all of those Bible studies mm. and they did not yeah. replace it with anything. Then when the very same learners are carrying knives to school, having drugs as calling, mm. they are abusive to their, to their teachers. Mm. So that is why in our view, the churches need support, especially when you see churches being under attack whereby criminals are so brazen mm -hmm. to go to places of worship carrying guns, robbing Abandabas Tanda Zelayo. Mm -hmm. It shows Ukuba criminals now are following the lead of a government. So that mm -hmm. is why in our view, churches must be supported, they must be protected, and most importantly, they must be given their space to contribute towards the development of the character of our country. Mm. Okay. The, 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 the Spaza shops yeah. recently about uh, traditional leadership. Mm. The government says chiefs and kings, the royalty, mm. must keep an asset re a register of some sort mm. of spaza shops mm. so that the foreign nationals are in that space. Do you think that is that what should be the role of traditional leadership, uh, that they must be relegated to contain, maintaining a list of how many spaza shops we have by foreign nationals? Well, what is the view of the ATM on issues relating to royalty. You no, know, royalty is so important in our view as the ATM. Go to um, the is it the United Kingdom. Mm. You find that there are some decisions the Parliament or the Prime Minister cannot take without the blessing of the head of the monarch, with mm. the, which is the British monarch. Mm. But come to South Africa, mm. royalty, um, you know, is treated like non-entities in mm. the government of their own people. Mm. But at the same time, royalty needs to take responsibility mm. because it is the very same royalty mm. when elections are coming, they are given cars mm. for a few months and mm. now they mislead their people because of temporary benefit. Mm. So if royalty themselves undermine their authority, mm. undermine their intambi mm. um, you know, by allowing themselves to be used by politicians, mm. politicians are going to use them, even in this case, mm. or spaza shops, mm. because it is not the responsibility of royalty, honestly, mm. because you've got a department of home affairs. Mm. That department is yeah. responsible to maintain mm. records of who comes to our country, yeah. who is here legally so that whoever is not here legally faces the full might of the law mm. that is not the responsibility of royalty mm. you've got a department of trade and industry that should be able to say this person has got a license to trade in our country mm. small business has got yeah. a responsibility to say if you are going to be trading in our country you are not a south african citizen mm. here are the requirements you need to have five million um, invested, you mm. need to employ 80% to be South African citizens, mm. you need to um, pay taxes, etc. Mm. That is a function of government. Mm. However, royalty, you know, should not be confined to that. Mm. However, royalty does have a responsibility to go back. Mm. You can't have just you anyone, allow anyone to and in. everyone to come in. Mm. You don't know where they come from, you don't know whether they're criminals or not criminals. But when uh, you are just aloof as a, as 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 in course, mm. in course must be treated with um, respect. They must be treated with dignity, mm. and they must not be made ceremonial whereby Owabo is to just be there and um, in the council meetings mm. and they just observe. They must be given space whereby they contribute towards the development um, of their very own communities. Mm. But for that to happen, 
they need to realize as in course ukuba they cannot be assisting the very same government because it because they are actually participating in their own oppression as in course so that is why our viewers atm ukuba if you want development in an area up on in course it must happen in course is a link between um, you know it must be the link between the government and the people in course must be able kumako mkulu kwa abo to be able to have a budget as a developer, the very same communities, Abanazo, they must be able to have a say. You can't have a counselor as a Tukuzo Fakwenzlela Apa. In course, he knows nothing. In course, must be able to say, here are the needs of Abantu and Bakokeleyo. And then, Asseden Zisane with whoever, Oganyi Asseden Zisane with their respective municipality. But most importantly, they, as in course, must not participate in mm. you know because if you look at the laws that even the government is actually introducing it is phasing away amantla mm. inkos the zus pluma that is there currently mm. that mm. is taking away powers from inkos mm. but what what will inkos do even next year mm. we'll have inkos campaigning for the very same government mm. so that is why in our view in course, must remember who they are mm. and not participate quinto mm. ebabulalayo and then bakalas ba complain as if bona they did not participate in their own um, destruction as in course. Mm. Because the municipalities are in tatters. Yeah. It's a mess. You have a municipality that mm. fires employees for mm. striking, mm -hmm. fails to collect refuse. Mm. Some have had asset, for, asset forfeiture unit mm. pouncing and taking stuff. Some can't even pay salaries. Mm, some can't even pay salaries. The roads and tatters, mm. and that speaks to governance. Mm. What do you think, President, is the failure of municipalities mm. to render governance so that the people can benefit? Um, I would cite two reasons. The first one is that we've got officials or administrators in municipalities mm. that are either they do not have the skills. They do not have the capabilities and to a great extent they lack the discipline mm. because e administration it does not matter who is um, an mmc or mayor in the sense that um you could have a case whereby there is no mayor mm. um, in a municipality because of a vote of no confidence but you can't honestly tell me Okoba, a chief director in a certain um, department is unable to work mm. so in our view had the administrators being able to stay away from the politics of mm. politicians mm. and focus on the legislation, mm. focus on their duties as administ administrators, would not have this um, problem that we have. Mm. The second issue that we have when it comes to municipalities, you have um, these coalitions that are not working, coalitions whereby political parties, they enter into coalition agreements mm -hmm. for themselves not for about not um, concerned about the people mm. because if it was if it was parties concerned about the people it would have been cases whereby mm. parties vote because here's a policy mm. you've got parties that are aligned in terms of their ideology and their policies they vote together not parties that are opposed policy wise mm. but they vote together because one wants to be an, um, an MMC of infrastructure mm. because this is a budget that is available. Mm. So that is the crux of the matter again, Okoba. You've got um, political parties that are using municipalities as mm. a means of making money for themselves, either as individuals or the parties. So the solution lies, number one, ensuring Okoba, the public service administration in terms of the administrators mm. is able to have um, 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 capacitated administrators that are able to do their work. Mm. At the same time, voters must take responsibility mm. by making sure that when they have an opportunity to vote, they do not vote for the very same parties who just want to barter positions mm. when it comes to um, when, the, when municipalities are going um, to select mayors, um, parties mm. that are all about power, all about positions, mm. but they are not concerned about service delivery concerned about policies that will um, change positively the lives of the people. Last thing, mm -hmm. from my side, I want to talk about the IEC, and this is because of the elections. And, and I've had a representative of the ATM lamenting how IEC is employing teachers to run elections or government officials. 
what is the view of the ATM in how the IEC is administering elections? What is it that the ATM thinks needs to change? Or is the approach of the IEC as it is the correct one as far as the ATM is concerned? Mm. You know, the IEC, um, some people from the IEC will admit that there's some shortfalls or mm. um, you know, issues that they need to correct. Mm. Because if they say um, um, your party is represented in a VD by having a party agent, mm. therefore some of these things will not happen. Mm. In other words, mm. IEC is saying if your party does not have a party agent, Therefore, expect your votes as a party not to be counted. Mm. Now, the fact that we've got party agents representing parties to try and guard the mm. votes of those parties clearly shows how the system in itself, it is not a system that, is, that could be trusted. Mm. Because the Fanba, the person that is a presiding officer, and all um, officials, um, officials yes. of the IEC, mm. regardless whether the party is represented or not, mm. but they are there ethically working to make sure Goba, there is no cheating that will take place, there is no votes of certain parties that will be discarded on the basis that they do not have party agents. Mm. So our view as the ATM, Goba number one, we can't have very high levels of unemployment, but you still use employed people, particularly people that are aligned to certain political parties to preside over the electoral processes. Because a person um, will use their, opposi their, their position um, as a presiding officer to benefit mm. their respective party. In the last election, there's a teacher who got caught, mm. and want to underline that part that he got caught or she got caught. Mm. This teacher voted for more than 20 times, mm. and they were, mm. she was mm. a presiding officer. And you ask yourself a question, mm. how many presiding officers actually commit all of these er er electoral crimes but because they may be they have been in the system for so long, so they are so good that yeah. they are not getting caught. Now, how many are there voting more than 20 times? In fact, voting more than once is actually something it's that crime, should be... Yeah. Mm. That's illegal. It, it, it's something that we should be concerned about. Mm. So that is why, in our view, we should be having a band that are there, not aligned to political parties, formally aligned to political parties. We all know that mm. even judges are voters, even mm. judges have got political preferences. However, you can't have someone that is um, part of a union, a union that takes a resolution but all its members will campaign mm. for a certain political yes. party. And you take the very same person to say they must preside over electoral processes. That, in our view, as an organization, mm. it is flawed and it does not lead to free and fair elections. Charles Kabil, can I get? No. I think so. yeah. Yeah. That was the president of the ATM shedding light on what they think is the right approach to govern the country as the African Transformation Movement. Keep watching the show. We've got many other guests coming. Follow us on social media and do subscribe to the Sheds podcast. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.